Hey, what's up? John from Videofort.com bringing you another fast, fun, friendly f***ing, uh, oops, tutorial, basic After Effects. Let's, uh, get into it. We're going to be learning how to render. So we've got our completed project here and we need to get it out of After Effects. How in the heck do we do that? All right, well, we go up to composition and from there we can either choose to add to render queue or pre-render i personally like to do pre-render so that's what we're going to do oh, looks like i already had one in there oh. all right and that brings us to our render queue now if your render queue did not open up for you automatically like it should you can go up to window and find it in here render queue should be in there boom render queue so we've got our render queue, and now we've got all these different settings that we can choose from. So I always like to keep it at the best settings, because why wouldn't you want it at best? And from there, you can go to Output Module, and click here where it says Custom QuickTime. Now, it's probably best to just leave the format in QuickTime, unless you know exactly what you're doing with these other things. QuickTime's a great wrap, works good, straightforward. Boom, so we're leaving that. And then from here, we're going to choose Format Options, and we're going to select the codec that we want to use. Now, animation is great. It's very large, and it'll take up a lot of space, just so you know, though. Another good one to use would be JPEG. It will be smaller and uh, still holds quite a bit of quality. So that's another good one to use if you're trying to keep the quality up. Now, if you're looking to just upload it straight to YouTube or something like that, H.264 is great. It's uh, a lower quality, but it's going to keep the size down and still keep it HD, which if that's what you're going for, that's what you want. Uh, you can also you know, change the quality here and bring it down if you need it to be a smaller file size. And then we can just say OK. And, and we'll go OK there. Now if we click on Output 2, we can choose where we want to save it. And that's always nice because then we know where it's going to on our computer. And I'm just going to send it straight to the desktop. And let's rename this Render Dirt. And uh, I think that's the right spelling. Uh, save. All right, so from there, we've got it set up and it's ready to render. Now, just so you know, sometimes you might need to change your settings here. Right now we're at 8 bits for the uh, color channel. You can make it 16 and 32 uh, if it needs to be higher quality. Now stay away from 32 unless you know what you're doing. Uh, it's just, you know, for really high quality stuff and like major motion pictures. Um, you know, I would stay in this range if you're just uh, starting out and kind of just shooting your own stuff. So, cool. From there, we can just click on render. Now, a good trick to render faster, let's say you're using a really large project and you want this to not be taking forever, if you hit caps lock on your computer, that will make it so that it's not playing up here and the render should go slightly faster, which is always a plus. But you wanna make sure that once it's finished rendering, you take caps lock off uh, otherwise, you won't be able to view any projects that you work on when you go back into After Effects. And you will be typing really angrily if you don't take your caps lock off. Yeah, I'm a comedian. All right, so uh, the render has finished. If I do a little view to my desktop, we can see that we have our render rendered here, and we can preview it. And beautiful. That's just uh, going to go right up to YouTube right now. I'm putting it up. I'm proud of that. You guys see all my special effects? Uh, you guys have made it through the basic training series. Go out there and make some cool things. And make sure to upload them to YouTube. And post them down in the comments section so we can see what you guys are up to out there. And give us any ideas for tutorials that you want us to make because we will do our best to learn you up. We like to teach. All right, guys, have a great day, and hit subscribe to the right. 
Check out videofort.com for the best stock footage. And I'll see y'all later.